Yeah, so we're, we're going into step three uh, next Friday, and I just want to, uh, I'm here at, uh, out in Brampton with uh, Mayor Brown and, and Mr. Sarkari and, and Amarjot uh, Sandu, great, great uh, hardworking uh, representatives for Brampton. And uh, we're just here to thank the, the frontline healthcare workers, and we're very, very grateful for all the work everyone's done across the province because without these frontline uh, healthcare heroes, uh, we wouldn't be able to go into step three and we have a, a very strong plan and we're going to continue on with the plan and uh, it's uh, about uh, the road uh, map to, to reopening and uh, I'm just grateful for the businesses and everyone in the province so thank you everyone. What does this mean for the next step? Is it going to be advanced too? Maybe to do the July 6th? Well, I, I think what we, we have to do is let's let's get into step three and I just encourage everyone, please get vaccinated because that's the reason we're able to move this forward because the the great numbers and I can give all the thanks to the people of Ontario. But uh, folks, this isn't over by any means. We, we still have a, a, a good battle on our hands. So let's let's not be out there doing the victory lap whatsoever. Let's just be due diligent and, and continue getting vaccinated. And uh, so... Quebec is going to, um, they're hinting that they're going to come some sort of vaccine passport, a QR code. Should we have that? So why should a person that's been following the rules get fully vaccinated not go to where they want to go freely when mm -hmm. a, another person isn't getting vaxxed because they're taking advice from uh, Facebook? Yeah, well, that, that's, up to, uh, that's up to the federal government uh, to, if they want to do this uh, passport or not, vaccine passport. But uh, yeah, well, that's up to Quebec, but I know the federal government, that's going to be their jurisdiction. If people want to cross the, the border, uh, they're going to deal with the, the federal government on that. But, you know, I just want to go back to, you know, close to 80% of the population of adults in Ontario have been vaccinated, and uh, I'm, I'm just very grateful for that. This will be the last one. Are we going to see more new advancement because I know you've taken your advice all from the scientific table but yeah. are you going to start taking advice from the economy and, and to start opening faster I know we're, yeah. we've pushed ahead step three but step yeah. four is definitely there the economy is suffering as a result and it's basically the non-vaxxers that are holding us back now. so why should the economy suffer because of that yeah well well thank, thanks for that question Jamie you know I'm encouraging everyone to get vaccinated it's really really important and uh you know, we're, we're getting the economy open, we have that plan, and we're going to focus on the economy once we get more people vaccinated. And uh, we're just very, very uh, grateful for, the, for all the hard work. But um, folks, when I'm traveling around the province, uh, there's thousands of jobs available out there because I'm hearing it from employers. We need to get everyone back to work. I won't stop until we get every business open back on their feet. And uh, the only way we're going to do that is to get vaccinated. And we'll hit our target, uh, God willing, that 80% uh, of the second uh, vaccines as well. But you're going to run up against the non-vaxxers at some point. Yeah, well, that's their constitutional right. I can't force anyone to get it. I encourage them as uh, everyone has. And I, I, I think, uh, you know, I'd, I'd love to see 100%. But 80% uh, of a population of 15 million, uh, that, that's pretty good. But I'm never happy until we hit 100%. So let's encourage everyone to, to get out there and get vaccinated. I understand those soft words, but the economy yeah. is going to be held back by the non Well, hopefully it's not. We're going to go full steam ahead, Jamie. And uh, we will have this province booming, similar to what we had before. We were short 250,000 people because we had so many jobs. We'll be back leading the North, North, leading North American job creation, economic development. I know uh, I know the mayor is going to have uh, Brampton booming, and other mayors across the province will have uh, their jurisdictions booming. We are an economic powerhouse in North America. And we're going to continue being that economic powerhouse and create more jobs. Thank you.